The Atascadero Warming Center is in need of volunteers and food this winter season. KSBY News reporter Alice Becerra spoke with staff members and has more on how you can help. Alice? Megan, the shelter tells me that they are very hopeful that as the temperatures continue to drop in the upcoming weeks, the community will step in to help provide the much needed services. We just provide basic human needs. We all need food, shelter, and clothing. When the temperatures on the central coast drop below 41 degrees or when there's a 50 percent chance of rain, the Atascadero Warming Center opens its doors. The center operates from mid-November through mid-April and welcomes those who are homeless or unable to find shelter for the night. But now center volunteers say they are in dire need of help. It can get to a burnout point. You know, everybody needs time off. So we're really looking to the community to volunteer. Transportation to the shelter, food and clothing are just some of the supportive services provided during the winter. Representatives for the center say they are a multitude of ways the community can help. If you're unable to volunteer or even provide a full meal, donations like bread, rice or canned goods are a great way to start. The shelter saw an average of 23 people a night last winter, but has room for 46. The center says last season they welcomed in a total of 19 children under the age of 18. I think it's our human, our human decency just to want to help people in need. So if you're out there and you want to help some people in need, this is where you come. The Atascadero Warming Center tells me they really want to emphasize that they do not have any preliminary requirements to provide shelter. In the newsroom, Alice Becerra, KSPY News. And to find out if you would like to find out how to help and become a volunteer at the center, you can head over to KSPY.com.